There we are. So I know you'd be a little bit tired this morning because you had a seizure overnight, but we'll just see how we get on. I thought we could maybe do some more um, Anthony and Cleopatra. Let's make sure that's on silent. Where are that? There. Okay, so we began the other day, didn't we? We just made a, a start on it. Um, and I'll just do a recap. It started off. You want to know about Antony and Cleopatra? Let me tell you the story, the real story. I was there at the start, the night Julius Caesar was killed, and Antony made a speech over his body in the marketplace. So that was the first page that we did. So this is sort of the story as told by someone as an observer. I think if we look back to the cast list, there we are, look. It was Servius who was telling the story because he's storyteller and bodyguard to Antony. So this is Servius speaking, S-E-R-V-I-U-S. Let's just practice that. Let's just practice it, come on. Servius. S E. Straight to the R. Straight to it. R and then V I U S. Down to the V. V I and the U. Straight to it. All the way down, see? U and S. Okay. I need a little bit more help today. Servius. If I spell that right, let me just check. Servius, yes. You were thirsty. Okay. Every time I pick up a pencil from here, they need sharpening, Chris. I don't know what happens to all these pencils. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to have a, a sharpening session. All of them look. Oh my god! That one's a bit better. So let's look at this page. You can point, and I'll read. Let's get it in a good position for you. As soon as Anthony stood before us, pale and proud in the torchlight, my heart went out to him. He spoke. He spoke. Come on. He spoke. How did he speak? Use your finger. He spoke in a voice like the beating of a war drum. And by the time he had finished speaking, oh, I'm going to help you here. I knew I would follow him anywhere to the shores of Hades and beyond if he asked me to. Oh, so, what was the light like? What was the light? It was torchlight. Very good. So the light was torchlight. And his voice was like what? Like the beating of a... Like the beating of a... Find the word... little bit higher, like the beating of a war drum, yes. So the voice was like the beating of a war drum. How do you imagine that a war drum would beat? Would it be like that? Or would it be it would be like number one or number two. Which one? Number one or number two? Number two? Yeah, I think it probably would be very sort of like a regular beat 
like that. Boom, 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 boom. So war drum would be a sort of a slow, loud beat. Mm. And where would he follow him? Give an example of one. Where he said he would follow him to. Come on, point, show me the word. Show me the word. Anywhere. Yes, he said he would follow him. Anywhere. One place he mentioned was the shores of, the shores of H, A, D, that's it. I've just got the tape on there to help with your accuracy. E and S, the shores of Hades. Now, when I say Hades, what do you think of? The shores of Hades, what do you think of when, when we say Hades? Hades represents H. E. L. L. Yeah, the shores of hell. Why, why do you think that Servius says, is saying that uh, Antony might be going to the shores of Hades? Why might he be going to hell? B. E. C. And after the C. A. And after the A would be U. And S. And all the way up. Because, so he would, might be going to hell, because, go on, because, H, he, H, A, oh, oh, that not the R, H, A, come on, oh no, because he has, M. Well, touch the M again. M. And next letter would be, just tell yourself, next letter, M. U. You're there hovering over the R. R. M. U. R. Go on. D. E. Go on. R. D. E. D, because he's murdered. Who had he murdered? S, C, sorry, not S, you touched A. And you were there hovering over the E. E. After the E comes S, and then finish it, finish the name. A, and then R. Oh, very nice, because he had murdered Caesar. Very nice. Let's look at the picture. There he is, there's Mark Antony giving his speech. And look, he's standing up tall and he's got his hand. Where's he got his hand? Touch it. Very good, yes. Where is his hand? On his C H E S and T. Touch your chest. Put your hand on your chest like Mark. So Mark Antony's got his hand on his chest. Where's your chest? On your body? <laughs> on your body? Try touching inward. That's right. So if you were putting your hand on your chest, you'd do it like that. That's your hand on your chest. Yeah. Take it off. Now you do it. Hand on chest. Hand on your chest. I'll show you again. If I say, put your hand on your chest, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now you do it. Put your hand on your chest. Mm. Straight up. That's, that's it. Well done. Oh, thank you. Yes. So his hand was on his chest. 
you kind of, if you have your hand on your chest like that, it's almost as if you're touching your heart. And it's as if you're speaking from the heart. So it, it kind of tries to show maybe that you're um, genuine and, you know, you're speaking the truth. Anyway, here we go. So we do one more page today. Let's have a look. When civil, civil war broke out, I was one of the first to join Antony's legions. Quite a long page. It was a bitter, bloody struggle, Roman against Roman, each believing that right was on his side. I was commended, let me just help you a little bit here, uh, I was commended for my courage in action, though all I did was keep my head and obey orders. And Antony himself promoted me to the rank of centurion. You just listen. Just before the Battle of Philippi. So there's quite a lot in there. So, what type of war was it? See if you can scan and find the word to show me. The type of war was civil. Good. Well done. Type of war was Civil. What does that mean, Chris? A civil war. A civil war. In your in your own words, what would it mean? B. E. B. E. This is good. Keep keep it going. Let's get the rhythm going. T. W. E. E. Come on, keep it going. Between. A civil war would be between between P and E and keep it going O and P and L and E between people go on and O and keep it going go on go on move your arm F between people of, this is good, we're trying to do two words at, at the same, uh, two words, between people of, maybe if we try the pencil that might make it faster for you, go on, between people of T and H and E and ooh, S and A and, careful, M and, all the way up for the E. E between people of the same. You did better with your finger, I think. C and go on. O and U and go on. N and next letter after the N. T. Next letter is after the T. R. Next letter is. Why? Yes! Between people of the same country. That would be a civil war rather than country against country. Mm. Okay. That's what they said. It was a bitter, bloody struggle. Roman against Roman. Each believing that right was on his side. Ooh. What was Servius commended for? He was commended for his courage. Commended for his courage. Very nice pointing. And then he says, all I did was to keep my head and obey orders. Mm. And Anthony promoted him to the rank of, find the word, just for practice. He was promoted to the rank of, very nicely done, Centurion. 
That was really good scanning, Chris. Good. Promoted to Century Anne. Okay. Let's just take a little break and, and um, look at a couple of the words here. Let's take the word courage. What comes to mind? Courage. C. O. Very nice. Next letter. C. O. O. C. O. Go on. Maybe you want to start with courage. C. O. U. R. All the way to the A. A. Let's get into a flow. And G and E. Courage. Go on. Courage. Let's try and start it. Might be easier for you today. Courage. Go on. Oh, I finger. Okay. Courage. I is N. Touch the end. N and E, E, D. After the D would be courage is N E E D. Then go on, keep it going, keep it going. Courage is need. Courage is N E E D. Let's just try back on here again. N-E-D Courage is need Go back to the pencil again Go on Come on Alright, or your finger, whichever you want E Courage is needed E E B E, E V E, go on. E V E, E V E. Next letter is R, and next letter Y, and next letter D, and A, and you're there. Y, courage is needed every day. Like it, courage is needed every day. I'm just going to try something. I'm going to try putting the board a bit lower so you can use gravity down here. Courage is needed every day. T. T. O. Two. What was that? Was B. E. To B. A. To B. A. Go on. This is working better down here. To be A, B, L, E, to be able. Go on. T, O. Courage is needed every day to be able to. Courage is needed every day to be able to, come on, keep it here for now, to be able to, T, R, what? T, R, you're hovering over the Y, to try. Courage is needed every day to be able to try. What was that? Was that O or N? You're in the middle. N, E, N, E. Come on, don't break off. N, E, N, E, W. Okay. To be able to try N, E, W, new. Try it here again. Go on. T H I. 
after the I, N, after the N, next letter, G and S. Courage is needed every day to be able to try new things. Oh, I like that. Yes, you do need courage to, to try new things. Sometimes it can be scary, isn't it? You can be scared and think, well, I might not be able to do it. And sometimes there's that fear of, oh, you know, not being able to do it or failing at something will make you feel bad. Um, I never think that, that failing at something should make you feel bad. Because I think that you should always celebrate trying. So even if you try and fail, that is much better than never to have tried at all. But I don't know, would you agree or disagree with that? Agree or disagree? A. I'll take that as agree. Agree, yes. So trying is more important, even if you do fail at it. And you said, you agreed, yes. Okay, I can see that you're getting a bit tired, so let's just see. Did you want to say anything else right now, or do you want to take a break? B, R, E, A. Okay, you want to take a break. That's fine, I can see that you've done ever so well, Chris. You've, you, and, and I'm going to celebrate you now for trying because I know it wasn't easy for you this morning and your pointing was slow and you needed lots of help but you were prepared to try and the more you try the better you're going to get. So well done to you. So we'll have a little break and we'll do some physical um, exercise to see if that energises you a little bit. We'll 